In this video, I want to talk about the prepared video essay. And that is the essay that you get to prepare in advance and that you then upload into your application. So that's different from the situation where you answer questions directly into the application form after you've submitted your written application. But the reasons the school wants you to do this are the same. They want to just get a bit of a better idea of who you are as a person. And you should see it as the connection between your written application and the interview. We always assure our students that, and our applicants that this is just one component of the holistic application. And we actually watch the video last. So we review all of your application and get to know you through your application. And then we watch the video and, and meet you um, in, that, in that video format. And so it just it brings it all together nicely in terms of like meeting the person at the end of the review of the application. Um, and we have really enjoyed that. And, it, and as I said, you'd be amazed how true the video uh, is to, to conveying who you really are and how you communicate. It's also an opportunity for the school to check your English level. And if you're not a native speaker, you may be worried that you have an accent or that your grammar isn't perfect and that the schools will notice. Well, don't worry about that. The bar really isn't that high. Let's first talk about the content. By the time you get to do this exercise, you will know your story. And the trick is to condense your story into a minute or two minutes. You have to think carefully about what you say because you just can't say everything. So we advise to just dip into a few of the main points of your story, where you're from, where you went to school, what your current role is. But it's also nice to show a little bit more of yourself because that's in the end the goal, right? To show who you are as a person. So stick in an anecdote. Uh, a good example is uh, one of our uh, US clients, she was on a secondment in Europe and she talked about the difficulty of learning how to drive with a stick shift. It's good to connect it to the school and especially your classmates. So talk about what you expect, for example, from your section. What's really important is that you don't prepare a full script and then rehearse that until you know it by heart. Sure, jot down the main points of what you want to talk about, but then practice telling your story in several different ways. Remember, the goal is for the schools to get an idea of who you are as a person, not how well can you rehearse a script and present it. But I can hear you say, you know, that's quite difficult for me because I feel very self-conscious when I have to do a video. <laughs> and to be honest, I know what you're talking about. Uh, I feel the same right now. Um, so that's why our, our advice is to go outside. Um, everyone feels better outside. Everyone looks better outside. And the outdoors gives the viewers something nice to look at. It's also good if you can get someone to record you and develop a bit of a click with the person behind the camera. Um, that will help you present your story to a real person already when you are recording your video. And I'm helped here by our cameraman Gil, who's actually a very good presenter himself and having him behind the camera really helps me to feel the personal touch on these videos. Kellogg embraced the, the video essay, uh, you know, actually quite a few years ago now um, for two primary reasons. One is it allows our entire admissions team to meet all of our applicants wherever they are in the world. And right now there's this sort of imperfect process in the applications process where you may only meet one interviewer and you don't have that opportunity for the admissions committee to meet you. Um, because your interviewer was just the one person that you meet in the process. Um, you may meet members of the school community, but from the admissions committee, that might be your only touch point. And when I talked to the, the president of our student body about it, she acknowledged like this was actually a technology that she had just had to go through using in the interview process. So I should believe that, and we're doing it right now, we're communicating on a video medium, that you know the ability to communicate in, in video is becoming a more integral part of the business communications landscape. Uh, our Career Management Center is seeing companies like Goldman Sachs and Nike, Apple and Uber leverage video interviews in their hiring process. So if anything, just like the entire MBA is getting you ready for the next chapter of your career, this is another skill 
that you're getting to develop in the application process. And what I always tell students is don't worry, it is not gonna feel comfortable if you've not spent a lot of time doing this before, but you'll be really surprised how the real you comes through. And that's who we wanna meet, is the real you. I also have a few practical tips for you. Make sure that there is enough room for you to cut out, if you're doing it by yourself, to cut out the beginning and the end so that you won't be seen reaching for the on and off button in your video. So you want to cut that out. You also want to bear in mind that there's not going to be, when you're doing it outdoors, that there's not going to be too much background noise that can't be edited out. Even so, it's a good idea to edit your video. When the schools say don't edit it, they mean don't cut and paste and put together a very complicated video. But it's fine to enhance the sound, to enhance the quality, and to cut out the beginning and the end where you're just dealing with the technical details. Um, we recommend that you uh, use Upwork for this, where you can just outsource a task to a freelancer for a quite acceptable fee. My last piece of advice is my most important one, which is have fun with this exercise. I already mentioned that I find this quite difficult as well, um, right, to speak into a lens with no person behind it. But then I think about my clients and how much I enjoy speaking with them on the phone and on Skype. And when I think about you being there at the other end, suddenly it's a totally different task and I'm actually finding it quite enjoyable. Do the same. Think about your classmates, the fun that you'll have with them, the adventure that you're starting. And it's going to be a very different exercise and it will show. And I'm sure that when you do that, it will all go very well.